How you doing? You good? Good. I'm glad you're good. I'm doing well, too. I'm Lauren Rahovchik, and this is Get It Out of Here, a show where I roast people who have horrible design, but then I show them how to make it better with a time-lapse sketch. Let's do this. I bet you smoke cigarettes in the house. These couches have seen a few farts. <laughs> I just imagine a whole family in the Midwest gathering around to watch TV every night. Nobody in this house has health care. Uh, that's what this says. Your couches are touching each other. Couches are not romantically involved. They should not touch each other. This whole room makes me feel so not good. Curtain looks like it's being choked to death. <laughs> ah, get me out from behind the table. I'm claustrophobic. What a fantastic blanket. I like this blanket too. Why can't we just have, follow me here, it's crazy. The only piece of cloth that goes over your windows is a curtain. That's it, nothing else. Everything else looks weird and I'm judging you and you deserve to be judged. Also get a fucking headboard. Then I also want a night stand that has storage space, closed storage, because right next to your bed is such valuable real estate and the top is like the most precious real estate. That's like, that real estate is like beachfront real estate. That's the most important space. Tiger eyes are watching you. Good job on getting curtains on the windows. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. What we don't need is the fitted sheet on this chair. I think it's a fitted sheet. Get it out of here. I don't believe you're gonna sleep well in this bed. I feel like I'm gonna be attacked by a tiger. Why don't we just put the bed also against a wall, you know? I don't think anyone has ever seen a couch just in the middle of a room work. If you are in a bed where you feel like you're floating out to sea, uh, you're not gonna sleep well. Guess this is like a, an office. It doesn't feel like an office. If I'm questioning for maybe 10 seconds what kind of room a room is, it means it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel nice. You're not gonna like walking by that door even. Raise your hand if you have a room in your house that you don't like walking by. Are you worshiping Satan? What is this? Who's this guy? You are an 18 year old girl who looks like she hangs out at Spencer's in 2004. That's who you are. That's who you are. I figured it out. Let's talk about sentimental things on the walls. It is really hard to make sentimental things on the walls work. I don't think you should throw out sentimental stuff. No, please. Dan is like the most sentimental person on earth. Don't tell anyone I told you. He's very sentimental. He, we keep everything, but you don't keep it on your walls. Let me show you what this room could possibly look like. Let's do the redesign. This is it but I don't know what I want to do with it. Let's find some inspiration. Well-designed bedrooms. This is a unique person, so I want something unique, but I also want it to be timeless. Ooh, this is it, this is it. That was so fast. I think this is the definition of unique and timeless. This is gorgeous, let's use this. So how do we get from there to here? We want to make modern and classic choices when we're sourcing pieces. Uh -huh, look at the name of the article. I would say that we are on track. We're doing a classic herringbone floor, modern sconces. I want classic wallpaper, but moody, of course, you know me. <laughs> Check out this completely unique modern chandelier. Oh my God. Ah. For the bed, I'm going to allmodern. Dot com. Please sponsor me. Please sponsor me. Hi. Love this bed. Love this bed. It's masculine. Of course. <laughs> Moody and masculine. I know exactly what stools I want for the foot of our bed. I've been obsessed with these for a while, coveting them like they are the neighbor's wife. And then we're not going far for our white nightstands. I'd like them wall mounted with a sleek modern silhouette. Perfect, this is perfect. Can you see this coming together now or do you need this vision board? 
For the sake of this sketch, I'm repositioning us in this room. I'm putting a bone color on the walls and we're gonna use the same drapes as the inspirational photo because I forgot to find them. Whatever, I'm dropping the bed down here after I mess it up and scribble on it because I <laughs> need help in procreate. Let's drop the stools in and mount the nightstands if only it was that easy. We are putting up our moody classic wallpaper inside our classic picture frame molding and we will be painting them black just like my soul. Now I will struggle drawing these lights even though it's a circle and a line. And if I thought that was hard, buckle up, because this chandelier just handed me my ass. <laughs> it needs more. I'm judging up the curtains. I'm putting crown molding. And on the left side, there's a closet here. I know that, I saw another picture. I'm going to do custom millwork on the closet so it mimics the footstools at the end of the bed and a faux animal skin rug wraps it up. Girlfriends, boyfriends, what do you think? This is what it could look like. You just have to spend a lot of time on it. Let's do the recap. Don't let your couch suffocate your curtains. Give them room to breathe. Your nightstand is prime real estate. Treat it like it. Choose pieces that align with your ideal room's style and don't stray. Curtains go on the wall, sheets go on a bed. Zero exceptions, folks. All right, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Get It Out of Here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Are you happy? Are you a happy baby? Just a little happy baby. Okay, let's say goodbye. Thanks for hanging, guys. See you later. New episodes of Get It Out of Here are posted every first and third Monday of the month. Please like, share, and subscribe.